Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new FFAR assault rifle for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, a lot of people are claiming that this gun is really overpowered, and it kind of is. I could totally agree with that statement, but Treyarch did a really good job of balancing the base gun, so I'm going to give you guys the stats of the FFAR, and then I'm going to give you guys the best class setup, in my opinion, for this gun. So, starting off with the damage profile, the FFAR does a 30 damage up close, 29 at mid-range, and 22 at long range, so it's very similar to the ICR or the HBK, and and you might have heard a lot of people comparing this gun to uh, the HVK-30 or the ICR because when players compare guns, the first thing they look at is the damage profile. So that's why you hear that comparison a lot. Now, it does take about four to five bullets to kill somebody. So you may think that's a lot of bullets. But the FFAR makes up for its slow kill time with an extremely fast fire rate. Now, the FFAR has an 800 RPM. And there's only three guns in Black Ops 3 that have a faster fire rate. And that's the Pharaoh, the Vesper, and the VMP. All other SMGs have a slower fire rate. And uh, the assault rifles are just out of its league in terms of fire rate so if you're going to be in a gunfight with somebody that's not using one of those three smgs then i really like the ffar's chances of winning a close quarters battle however because of its fast fire rate there comes an insane amount of recoil and on screen now is the recoil plot for the ffar as you can see it kicks up to the right which is really weird but if you can control the recoil on this gun then you're going to be good to go and for the magazine size the ffar has 30 bullets without extended mags and with extended mags it gives you 42 bullets which is pretty decent and finally for the reload speed the ffar has a 2.5 second real time with at least one bullet in the chamber and a 3.2 second reload time with no bullets inside the chamber which is extremely long to uh, reload this gun and it's the longest time out of any assault rifle in the game so honestly this gun is pretty balanced but there's other factors that affect this gun from being flat out overpowered and I'm talking about pre-patch from Moss from Black Ops 1 or Type 25 from Mono for 3 so uh, since the FFAR has a decent damage profile the insane amount of recoil counters that but there's other really good attachments that you can use to negate that balance so on screen is the class setup that I like to call the Famasa bait so uh, for the attachments you definitely want to use the grip because of the recoil and extend mags to give me more ammo in this gun because I find myself getting to gunfights where I'm always reloading so uh, extend mags is a must for me and finally fast mags because it complements my fast action style of play now you can also use quick draw because it helps out with uh, outgunning people uh, that are using SMGs but it's not really necessary so it's up to you if you guys want to run that and for the perks I use six tenths because I do a lot of rushing and objective play with this kit and I can know if players are around me when I'm uh, either rushing the flag or the uplink or even capturing a domination flag so six tenth is really good for me and uh, the next perk that I like to use is fast mag because it complements my fast action style of play and blast suppressor because it's a must for any class in this game so if you guys were uh, to use this gun I try to use it more like an SMG than an assault rifle because the gun has a fast fire rate but say you're a defensive player and the majority of your kills are going to be long shot kills then I recommend bursting with this gun to control the recoil so in my opinion this gun is probably the top 10 best guns for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 maybe even top 5 but let me know your thoughts down in the comments guys also drop a like if you guys did enjoy thank you guys for watching I'm a have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.